autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto's disease have been increasing rapidly. A lot of people have been reaching out to me because they are looking for natural supplements to help with these diseases. Today I am going to share with you 7 must have supplements if you are suffering from an autoimmune diseases and the biggest part is that the information I am sharing over here is research based information. Now I want you all to know that this video doesn't replace any medical advice or please don't stop any medications without the consultation with your doctor. Number one supplement on this list is quercetin. What is quercetin? Quercetin is a natural flavonoid which is present in the skin of several fruits, several vegetables as well as herbs. The dosage typically ranges from 400 milligrams to 600 milligrams of quercetin on the daily basis. Next supplement is glutathione. What is glutathione? Glutathione is a master detoxifier and a powerful anti antioxidant which is present in each and every cell of our body. Especially it is very highly concentrated in liver. The dosage of glutathione can range anywhere from 500 milligrams to 1000 milligrams on the daily basis. The next supplement on this list is curcumin. Curcumin is a natural compound which is actually found in turmeric roots. The typical dosage of curcumin for autoimmune diseases is between 1000 to 2000 milligrams on the daily basis. The next supplement on this list is L-glutamine. What is L-glutamine? L-glutamine is an amino amino acid which is very important to keep your gut in good shape. The next supplement on this list is zinc. Zinc is a very important mineral that keeps our immune system in good shape. Now especially if you have Hashimoto disease as an autoimmune condition then you need to combine zinc with selenium because they both have synergistic effect on your autoimmune condition especially Hashimoto's. The next supplement on this list is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are part of each and every cell in our body especially the cell lining. Now here's the catch it is very important important to get right dosage of omega-3 fatty acids because most of the omega-3 fish oils supplements are very low in EPA and DHA and most people do not know that. So when you're looking at your supplement, a minimum of 1000 to 2000 milligrams of EPA and DHA needs to be present in the fish oil supplement that you are taking. The last supplement on this list is vitamin D. We have at least 200 research papers which supports the use of vitamin D for various autoimmune diseases. Typical dosage is 5000 international units on the daily basis basis that you can take or you can take 60,000 international units on the weekly basis.